Uh, before I start today's video, I'm excited to announce that I will host a live trading event in Frankfurt, Germany next week. The event will be for free. There will be drinks, snacks. You can win prop firm accounts. I will do a presentation. We can talk about algorithmic trading. The link is below the video. If you're interested, all the details are on my website, but we only have a limited number of spots available. So only the first people who sign up can join the event for free. Yeah, I'm looking forward to talking to you in person. I think that's a great opportunity to just chat with other traders and learn from each other. Hey, this is Toby. In this video, I will show you one of my favorite tests to check if a strategy is stable and if the strategy is likely to perform in the future. So this is probably one of the most important videos I've made here on the channel because it's easy to, to optimize uh, some parameters and it's easy to generate a great looking equity curve in algorithmic trading. But the goal is to have a strategy that performs in the live market and not just in the back test. So that's what I show you today. A test I do for all my strategies to check if the strategy is stable and yeah, sensible to parameter change. So the test is called parameter permutation or stability test. I also call it neighborhood analysis. And basically what we want to do is to check the neighbor parameters of each parameter to find a combination in a stable area and not just a peak in the optimization results. So when we run a optimization in the strategy tester, and it doesn't matter if this is the MetaTrader 5 platform or NinjaTrader or TradeStation or MultiCharts, um, any software, there's a big trap, which is called over-optimization or curve fitting. So you basically curve fit your strategy to historical data and it performs amazing in the backtesting period. But as soon as you start trading the strategy live, it will fall apart and you will lose uh, money. Now, before I show you the practical process in the MetaTrader 5 tester, I want to explain the test here in paint. So let's say for our test or our optimization, we have three parameters we want to optimize the range start time, the time exit and the stop loss. And let's take a look at one single combination. So for example, 120 for the range start, 960 for the time exit, and let's say 80 for the stop loss. Now we want to check the neighbors of this combination because we want to make sure that the neighbor parameters or combinations are also stable. And what we can do now, and I will maybe draw some lines here. So this is our current combination. We want to check. And what we can do now, we also take a look at the neighbor parameters. So here's 60, for example, and 900, and also 60 for the stop loss. So this would be a neighbor combination. Also, for example, 180, 1020, and 100. This is also a neighbor combination. And of course, it depends how, yeah, how many steps you want to uh, look for in each direction of each parameter. But for example, also the combination 120, 1020, and 60. It's also a neighbor combination we want to take a look. So we just want to make sure that every combination in our neighborhood here um, is stable. Uh, you can yeah, see there are a lot of combinations um, we want to check. Maybe that's not uh, the prettiest uh, graph, but I also have this here in a PDF file. And this is from my strategy development course. And the way I do it, I can specify the number of steps for each parameter. So for example, one step to the left and right for the first parameter, two steps for the second parameter, and one step for the last parameter. And if we take a look at the combination four, seven, and 100 here, we have all these um, combinations we also want to check if they are stable or not. Um, and so we get 45 combinations here. And with the neighborhood analysis, I get the average result of all these combinations and also very important, the lowest or the weakest neighbor. So the combination with the 
worst result. And this way I can check for each combination what is the weakest neighbor and what's the average neighborhood. Because I want to make sure that I pick a combination for live trading that also has a stable neighborhood. So yeah, if maybe the market changes a little bit in the future, um, I'm still in a pretty good spot. So my strategy will still perform well in the live market and not basically fall off a cliff. Okay, but now I will show you the process step-by-step step in the meta 5 tester, how I do the neighborhood analysis here in meta 5 So I select my master EA. Now you can also do this by hand manually, but of course it takes a lot of time um, to do this process. So I have this built in into the master EA and I will just show you how I do it. So this is a simple breakout strategy here. The period is not important. I just want to run a optimization and I want to optimize a few parameters. So for example, the stop loss here, maybe we start at 20% of the range up to 200. And I also want to optimize the range start time, 60 steps of, yeah, maybe let's start at 30 step, steps of 30 up to 300, for example. So we have 10 combinations here. And the last parameter I want to optimize is the range, uh, the time exit. So let's go down here, time exit, this one here. And we want to start at 900 steps of 60 and all the way up to 1320. So eight combinations. So in total we have 800 combinations here in the bottom right corner. And yeah, let's also make the settings for the neighborhood analysis. So there are inputs here. You can create a optimization report. I set this to true. I want to run the neighborhood analysis. So I also set this here to true. And now I can set how many steps I want to look to the left and to the right for each parameter. So the first parameter is our stop loss. Um, and we want to look one step to the left and to the right. Now the second parameter is our um, range start time. For this, maybe we want to look two steps to the left and two steps to the right, because the step size is a little bit small with 30 minutes. And the last parameter is our time exit, maybe also one step to the left and to the right. Okay, now I start this optimization and this might take some time. So I will cut the video here and we will take a look at the results. Okay, now the optimization is done. We get this window here where we can see the progress of the neighborhood analysis after the optimization is done. The EA will run this um, test and we can see the file was created here in this folder and we will check out the file later. But before that, I want to take a look here at the optimization results in the MetaTrader 5 tester. So here we can see all the combinations, all the results. The best one here has 10K, and this is of course the selected custom criteria. We can also see the graph of the optimization. All the combinations, we can do this with a 1D graph, and we can select the parameter we want to look at here at the x-axis. Um, here. We can also take a look at this in a 2D graph here and also select the X and Y axis and also the 3D graph here. Um, yeah, but there's one problem with this analysis here in the MetaTrader 5 platform because as soon as we optimize more than two parameters, we cannot do the stability test here even with the 3D graph because we always have here the performance um, criteria, the custom criteria here as the third um, axis. And we can only look at two parameters at the same time and take a look here if we find a stable area, for example. So to do this in the with three parameters or even four parameters, um, I use the master EA. 
and this way I can do this in n-dimensional space. So it doesn't matter if I only optimize two parameters, three parameters, or four parameters. Um, I can look at every combination and every uh, neighbor parameter, basically. Okay, so let's take a look at the file the master EA created. So for this, I will go here to File, open the data folder, not on my second screen, and go here to Terminal, Common, Files, Master EA, Reports, and here we can see the optimization report we just created. So let's open this. This is a simple text file here. And yeah, to have a better look, maybe we copy this into Excel. So I would just copy everything and paste it into a Excel sheet here. I will format this a little bit so you can see everything. And also here, create a table. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit small, but I will zoom in. Um, so here, this is the optimization report. Uh, but for now, I just want to look at the neighborhood analysis. And we can see here the start, step, and stop value for each optimized parameter, how many steps we have for each parameter, and how many neighbors uh, to each side. So the stop loss, the start time of the range, and the time exit. We can also see uh, the number of combinations. The biggest neighborhood is 45 combinations, because if you look at a neighborhood and you have the stop loss, for example, at 20, there's of course no um, lower value um, to look at to the left side. And uh, this is why we have like combinations with lower neighbor combinations. Um, yeah, valid passes, positive passes here, 99%, which is a sign of a pretty stable strategy. But this, of course, depends also on the step size um, you choose and the average result of this optimization. But important for, for this video here, of course, here are all the optimization runs. This here, the column with average neighbor and the lowest neighbor. So now we have each combination here with the result. And we also see the average neighbor combination and the lowest neighbor combination. So now we can just sort here and take a look at the combination with the highest average neighborhood. So this would be 6k here. And we can see the values for the parameters and also the number of neighbors. And we can see here, this is actually the best performing um, combination from the entire optimization. But this is pretty rare. And often this is a combination with a lower result, but it's, it is more stable and you should select a more stable result um, for the live market. But we can also take a look at the lowest neighbor here. So this one here is now the combination with the highest lowest neighbor. So the, the best weakest neighbor, basically. Um, this is this combination here. This is what I like to pick when I select a combination for the live market. So we can take a look at this. This is pass number 336 in the MetaTrader 5 tester. So let's sort this here. Three. Um, three. Six, this combination here, 8K and the parameters 140 for the stop loss, 120 for the start time and 1080 for the time exit. So I will mark this here. Yeah, it's the same, this one here. Um, we can also see other metrics here in the optimization report, but this is not important for this video right now. So that's how I select the combination. I want to trade in live market. We can also double 
click here and run a single test with these parameters. And this way I know even if the market um, changes a little bit in the future, what will happen, um, um, that's always the case, then I know my strategy will not fall off a cliff and even the neighbor combinations, they are stable in each direction of each parameter. Okay, so this is the result. Of course, you can test this on your own. If you get the master EA, you can't do this with the demo version, you cannot run a optimization. Um, but as I said, you can also do this by hand manually to look at the neighbor combinations. I just wanted to explain this process here in this video, um, how I do a stability test. And this is my favorite test um, to check if a strategy is likely to perform in the future. And you will see with a lot of weak EAs and strategies, if you do this kind of test, and you look to the left and to the right, the strategy will just fall apart. And this way, you know, even if you get a pretty um, good looking equity, that the EA will not perform um, in the future. Okay, so that's how I select a combination to trade in a live market. Of course, I do other tests too, like auto sample tests, um, incubation phase. But this is one of my favorite tests to run. It's pretty simple, straightforward, and it avoids a lot of uh, over optimization. The master EA is available on the MQL5 website. The link is below the video. If you also want to test this on your own, you can't do this the optimization in the demo version, but you can run a single back test with the demo version. Uh, so you can check it out if you're interested. Okay, now I wish you great trades and a good day, and I will see you in one of the next videos. Bye bye. Oh, and don't forget to reserve your spot for the live trading event next week in Germany. We only have a limited number of spots available, but I think it's a great opportunity for beginners and also advanced traders to just chat about algorithmic trading and learn from each other. So I'm looking forward to seeing you uh, next week in Frankfurt. And now I wish you a great day and good trades. Bye bye.